my video for May the 12th, 2020 is video number 3,452. The title is, I thought I knew, but I want to know much more. A Bible verse I learned as a child was this one. And Adam knew his wife Eve, and she bore him a son. It would appear the meaning of new in this context is sexual. I vaguely remember what that was like, but it's been a long while for me, sadly. <laughs> but I have a more pressing desire these days. I want to know much more than merely what I was taught or even what I have experienced to this point. I want to know why life remains a mystery not just to me, but for humanity. Apparently, we've been on this planet for a long, long time, millennia or more. It appears to me that we still know very little. We know nothing about what we call human life, not really. Of course, there are those who claim to know, just as I did most of my life. Still, when it comes right down to it, I actually know very little. If you can relate, if you are still trying to make sense of it all, welcome to the club. I question, thus I am. But what am I actually? Ah, the impasse. <laughs> oh, I fell back to sleep after being awake for a while in the middle of the night, as usual, and uh, woke up with a start. It was a little bit later than I normally get up. And so I jumped out of bed without even taking my blood pressure, which is normally the first thing I do every morning is I put the blood pressure thing on my, on my arm and take my blood pressure and see what it's like, because that's, to me, the my sleeping blood pressure, resting blood pressure is the normal blood pressure. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. <laughs> and neither is it about Mother's Day, which I just experienced yesterday. And uh, I went with the, uh, it was not only Mother's Day, it was my granddaughter's birthday. And today is my sister's son's birthday, Buddy. Uh, so there's birthdays coming up, and that's not what this video is about either. Uh, do you see how easy it is to be taken by all of the circumstances in our lives, by all the things that are going on? But that begs the question, what's it all about? What's the meaning of it all? Is there meaning? Is there purpose? Or is it all just insanity? Is it all just meaningless? Well, I thought I knew the meaning. The meaning is to love. The meaning is to learn. The meaning is to explore reality and come to conclusions. The conclusions I came to were wrong. I thought I was here to bring heaven to earth. I've had that mission or that idea of a mission. As long as I can remember going way back into my childhood. No, I'm not talking about the first five or six years. But by the time I was reaching double digits in age, I was already questioning. I was already exploring. I wanted to know. And my parents were wonderful. They taught me about God. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. And the earth was without form, formless. It was void. There was nothing there. And God, everything was dark, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. 
You know the story. Those of you that have read the Bible. I thought the Bible had answers, and it does. So does the Quran. So does the Bhagavad Gita. So do the Shakespearean <laughs> stories, the dramas. Everything has levels of meaning to it, or at least everything provides us with questions and suggested answers. But what do we really know for sure? Do we have to die to find out? Are we incapable living in three-dimensional reality of actually knowing the bigger picture, of actually being able to see for ourselves and to understand what it's all about? There seems to be a huge gulf in this world between those who have wealth and those who do not. And that gulf between the haves and the have-nots seems to be increasing, not decreasing. And even those that have had comfortable lives as far as monetary wealth goes, even many of us in that category, and I'm not really in that category as much as some people are, but that is changing right now as the ability to earn a living has been taken away from a lot of people. Now it's gradually being restored here in the United States, but those including Donald Trump have clamped down more and more. They say it so that, so that they can arrest the deep state. And Tom Hanks supposedly is dead, and now there's proof in Australia that he's dead. One of my Australian friends sent that to me. Anyway, it's still a mystery. I still have lots of questions. I still want answers. I'd like to think that I have not lived for 73 plus years in vain. I'd like to see the kingdom of heaven begin to manifest on earth rather than the exact opposite. We're seeing hell explode. And when I say explode, I mean not in the sense of it being demolished, but explode in the sense of it becoming more and more evident that we're living in hell, not heaven. Can you not see that? Am I the only one that perceives it that way? People tell me, but Ron, it's all just an illusion. Well, then what's the purpose? What's the meaning? This is what I struggle with. And I don't buy into some of the things I've bought in in the past, including the Bible, including a lot of the religious stuff that I was taught. I just can't buy into it anymore because from my perspective, it doesn't work. It doesn't produce the outcome that I have felt was my purpose to participate in. Not that I, Ron Van Dyke, can bring heaven to earth, but I'd like to be able to at least make things a little bit better, which is why I donate to the orphanage in Uganda, which I wish others would start donating. I've gotten what? Five or five, maybe six people have donated so far. I got one more donation and I've got to go to the bank later today and, and, uh, and get more money out and send more money to, uh, to the orphanage there. I wish other people would get on the bandwagon and help support these poor children. At least that's doing something tangible for people. I'm tired of the intangible promises that don't become reality. I'm tired of living my life apparently in vain. How about you? Namaste.